everyone, Christina here, coming to you live again here in Madrid for your weekly update. Today I'm going to be discussing all things Thanksgiving. So uh, if you're just tuning in, please feel free to say hello, ask any questions you might have as always. Um, but yeah, I was here actually last year for Thanksgiving. It was my first Thanksgiving abroad, so I can share a little bit about my story. Uh, I was very, very different, I'm not going to lie. I went to two different Friendsgivings. Uh, one was a little bit more traditional, potluck style. We all brought something uh, to eat. And the other uh, was actually kind of a mix hosted with a few Spaniards. It was a lot of fun. They definitely took their interpretation of what Thanksgiving would be like. And um, yeah, the only sad thing was definitely that there was no uh, turkey at either of those Thanksgiving uh, dinners. So it definitely did not feel fully like Thanksgiving without the turkey. So. Um, what happened there was nobody unfortunately ordered the turkey in advance and so today I'm going to be talking about how important that is, where to get other ingredients uh, if you're looking to host a Thanksgiving dinner and also um, some restaurants that are here in Madrid that are offering uh, different uh, Thanksgiving meals and uh, you can also go that route as well. So let's get started. Feel free, ask questions, engage, uh, but let's start with the restaurants here. Some of my favorite ones are um, Carmencita and La Gringa. So they're actually owned by the same company. Uh, it's a great brunch spot. A lot of expats go there. It's great for um, mimosas or an intercambio, but they're actually hosting a Thanksgiving um, brunch meal as well. It's 35 euros per person, uh, and they'll offer everything from your traditional turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, grilled corn, sweet potatoes, all of those traditional dishes, and of course, pumpkin and apple pie. So only thing is, for sure, with all of these restaurants, make sure to call ahead and see if you can get a reservation. I know Carmencita and La Gringa is pretty small, so you definitely want to make sure that you can get a reservation in advance. Another very popular spot here, it's one of the most popular pubs here in Madrid, is James Joyce. James Joyce. It's an Irish pub uh, here centrally in Madrid, and they're offering um, two uh, different types of Thanksgiving lunches. You can do a two or three course meal. Uh, the two course meal is 22 euros and 50 cents, and the three course meal is 28 euros and 50 cents. So you can spend a little bit more, get a little bit more food, Either or, both options are great. Um, it's a low-cost meal for under 30 euros. Definitely recommend James Joyce. Um, another one that I actually have never been to, but I've heard about, is the Apollo Gastro Bar. They are offering, again, depending on the size you want to get, either three or five course meals. They're offering a um, 30 euro or 35 euro uh, traditional um, Thanksgiving menu. So their menu will be offering, this sounds really delicious, an orange and bourbon sage roasted turkey and again three or five sides depending on which one you choose. They're located right next to Plaza Mayor and they have a super chic underground restaurant. So I've also heard that they do bottomless mimosas so I'm definitely gonna have to check out this place, Apollo Gastro Bar. Don't worry about writing all these down guys. I'm going to actually submit a link in the comment section after this video uh, with a blog post from TT Madrid where they actually go over all these locations um, so you guys have it. Uh, next on the list is the American Club of Madrid. Um, they're hosted at Roll Madrid, which is one of my favorite. Uh, it's a great American-style restaurant, and um, they're hosting a Thanksgiving dinner on Thanksgiving. Um, so it's a room filled for at least 70 people. It's going to be 45 euros per person, so highly recommend getting your reservations in now again. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be more for your traditional uh, American style uh, Thanksgiving. And then lastly, I heard the Toast Cafe offers a delicious uh, Thanksgiving turkey sandwich. So um, again, I've never been there. I've heard great things about Toast Cafe, but that's located in Chambry if you guys want to check that out. And then, of course, you can always go and uh, do the traditional way and make your own Thanksgiving. Um, do a potluck or um, uh, host your own and have everybody bring a dish. That's definitely something that we did last year as a Friendsgiving, and it's super, super successful. It's honestly a great time for Americans to be able to share a little bit about the history, the culture, um, and some favorite dishes uh, where uh, a lot of people are expats, so it might be their first Thanksgiving. So it's a lot of fun to just share the holiday itself. All right, so if you are planning on hosting a Thanksgiving um, meal or uh, potluck, 
uh, you might have some difficulties finding some ingredients. So I'm gonna cover that as well in this video. So let's first start with the turkey. The turkey is extremely important. Um, like I mentioned, uh, we didn't have a turkey last year. We ended up eating chicken um, and there was pizza served. Really embarrassing pizza. But you have to order the turkey in advance. So best way to do it is you find a local uh, boyeria which is a butcher that uh, specializes in chicken and other poultry. Um, so an example of one that I know is still around is the Herrero. It's located in Malasaña. Uh, highly recommend, as always, honestly start looking for this stuff now, guys. Um, order it two to three days in advance minimum. Uh, if you are looking more for a last minute thing, you can always try Corte Inglés. No promises there. It's probably going to be a little bit more pricey as well, but I've heard or, uh, Corte Inglés has uh, turkeys as well. Now, uh, they weigh everything here in kilos, so you got to make sure you know the pound to kilo conversion. Uh, about four kilos will feed around eight to ten people, so keep that in mind. Uh, you'll want to buy also a large one-time foil pan to put the turkey in because, again, they're not traditionally making these meals. Uh, so the pans are a bit smaller here. You can pick up a one-time one -time foil uh, pan at any Chinese bazaar. They'll sell them there too. All right, now moving on to the cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce is super, super important ingredient to have. You can make a cranberry sauce using frozen cranberries if you'd like, definitely. You can find any frozen cranberries at the big supermarkets. Or you can buy already made cranberry sauce uh, from, again, you can try that boyeria. Or Taste of America has it as well, the Ocean Spray brand. Um, and then, of course, you can try to find fresh cranberries to make your cranberry sauce. Uh, the Gold Gourmet Market has it, and Mercado de la Cebada, I've heard, has fresh cranberries. They might look a little different, but they do have fresh cranberries. All right, moving on to spices, which is essential to make these dishes taste uh, traditional and taste like Thanksgiving, such as rosemary, sage, nutmeg. Um, you definitely want to use this stuff for the stuffing, the stock, uh, the pumpkin pie, the sweet potatoes, things like this. So um, you can find fresh herbs at the Mercado Barcelo um, at the most of the fruit stands there. So check that out. And then you'll probably want to know the Spanish uh, translation for that, so I'll go ahead and give that to you guys. Rosemary is romero, thyme is tomillo, and sage is salvia. Uh, and then nutmeg, don't forget nutmeg, super important. It's nuez moscada. And nutmeg can actually be found more commonly in any of the large supermarkets nowadays, so uh, you shouldn't have trouble finding nutmeg. And then lastly, we have the stuffing. Love, love, love the stuffing. Um, Taste of America actually offers a stovetop version if you want to just have the pre-made stuffing, uh, if you don't want to make your own, and it's just under six euros. Uh, again, highly recommend just going to Taste America for a lot of this stuff as they have traditional um, Thanksgiving things there. It might be a little bit more pricey, but you can try them first and then uh, check out other places. Uh, and then there's online stores, believe it or not. So you can go to Sabore, uh, Sabores del Mundo or My American Market to find more of those harder to find ingredients such as la, uh, marshmallows, pecans, canned um, pumpkin. So you can also go online and order those products as well. But again, Thanksgiving is Thursday, so you guys got to get on this stuff now to find a lot of these ingredients. So highly recommend um, spending this weekend to grab those things. Well, I hope you guys got some more information on Thanksgiving here. It's a lot of fun, as it's not commonly celebrated, obviously. So a lot of the Spaniards, um, a lot of different cultures want to learn about Thanksgiving and be invited to a Thanksgiving party. So uh, it's a lot of fun, even though you're away from family. It's like you have an extended family here. So that's it for me, guys. As I mentioned, I'm going home for the next two weeks. So I will be back with you guys in a couple of weeks. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and have a great turkey day. Thanks. Bye.